Hi, it's Joe here, G4PMY. Uh, just been repairing this uh, rakel receiver, and uh, it's on the dipole now. And uh, tuning the band, we came across uh, this horrible noise, which we've had emails about when we made the video on the uh, Marconi receiver. You can hear it, and that's at 13 megahertz. And as we tune across the 13 megahertz band. You can see it goes right across and that is, I believe, uh, BT's Home Hub uh, power line digital signalling going up to uh, 14 megs. There you see it again, increasing the uh, sensitivity right across the band. Try 16 megs, 15 megs, sorry. There you are, 15 megs. Total noise. No chance of working any sort of DX at all. So what we're going to do is put the spectrum analyzer on and have a look at what sort of signal strength we're seeing and then uh, go out and uh, hunt down the source of this horrible noise so we can uh, uh, make a complaint to Ofcom. So uh, stay tuned. Hi, uh, here we are with the spectrum analyzer. Um, it's a calibrated instrument, however the antenna, the HF dipole, isn't calibrated. And so all we can determine is the level of signal which arrives at the test instrument from the uh, HF antenna. I'm going to plug the aerial in, but I'm just shorting out the inner and outer of the coax. You never plug an antenna directly into uh, um, a sensitive instrument like this uh, without removing the, the static which may be on the feeder. The frequency is set to 15 megahertz and there you can see the spectrum of noise. The sweep is at one quarter megahertz and the cursor is riding a peak at the moment which is saying neg 85 dBm. That, that's fairly um, high um, because this is a broad spectrum of signal or interference um, you would need to calculate the power density across the spectrum and we're just looking at one of the peaks suffice to say that a, a modern uh, receiver probably has a sensitivity in the uh, region of neg 117 dBm and this signal is coming in it's hovering about the neg 85 dBm mark so um, that certainly precludes uh, the reception of uh, any DX on these frequencies so um, there you go uh, we intend uh, popping out tomorrow morning with the portable receiver uh, to try and track down which houses are using this power line signalling Hi, Joe here, G4 PMY well, as you see, we're out with a scanner, and you can hear the racket. And um, we've got a long aerial and a, a resistor to act as a very short aerial. So as the signal strength increases, you reduce the size of the aerial, as it's not easy to put an attenuator on this. And we're going to hunt down uh, the interference. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show the property on the video that it's coming from, or mention the address or anything. Um, but we will uh, then be reporting that address to uh, Ofcom and I'll uh, see you shortly OK, well, we're up to the rear of the property as you can see there is a very short aerial in the scanner and the signal is actually quite strong so um, we'll be reporting this as a general location rather than a specific address and uh, seeing what action Ofcom actually takes and we'll be back to you uh, in a little while. Hi, well we're back with you now, uh, having tracked it down. We believe it's a system called BT Vision. Um, rather than go into the detail here of uh, who to contact and what to do, in the credits which will follow shortly I'll put some links and uh, if you uh, need to information just pause the video while you write down the uh, actual links. Thank you for watching.